슬프고 네 실망했어요 사실 계기가 <웃음> 없어진 것 같아요 사실 We need to consider that language learning is a big investment and when I make a decision to learn a language there is generally a very big reason behind it Hello everybody and welcome back I am sitting outside which is why I have my phone as a little microphone because there's some construction and things going on so I asked you guys to ask me some questions for another Q&A, which I will be answering soon. But there was one question that a lot of you upvoted and I thought it was very interesting. So I'm going to address this in uh, this entire video. Crystal Lee asks, you might have answered this before. Are there any languages you wouldn't want to learn? And do you have beef with any languages? <laughs> Fantastic question. There are two I can think of specifically. So I have quite an old outdated video about why I learn learned certain languages so i will link that here if you want to get a background quickly of some of the languages i've learned but i won't go into that now but there are two languages that i kind of had beef with so surprisingly the first one is korean um i'm gonna do this part in korean because i feel like korean is more expressive and it's easier to explain the situation i also haven't spoken korean like spoken spoken it for months so i might be rusty uh, but allow me to uh, subtitle the next part. <sighs> 어디서부터 시작하지? 고등학교 2학년 때 어, 일단 어디서 대학교를 다닐 수 있는지 이런 생각을 많이 해가지고 한국에서 어떤 정부 장학금 같은 거 있었어요. 그래서 일단 고등학교를 졸업하고 나서 그 다음 년 한국에 한국으로 가서 대학교 다닐 수 있을까? 생각해가지고 그 지원서를 미리 연습으로 써보고 에세이 같은 거까지 써보고 대서관에 가서 그 대통 아 대통령 말고 대사님 대사님 어 만나봐가지고 일단 준비를 많이 했어요 미리 근데 그 다음 년 고등학교 3학년 때그 실제로 지원서 그 다큐멘트 다 나와가지고 갑자기 남아공은 없어졌어요. 남아공 사람들이 더 이상 그 장학금을 지원하지 못하게 됐어요. 어, 일단 이유를 정확히 모르지만 제 꿈은 그때 너무나 한국에서 공부하고 싶었고 대학교를 한국에서 다니고 싶었는데 모든 애 쓰고 노력하고 한국에서 공부하고 싶었는데 갑자기 나보고 사람들이 더 이상 안 된다고 들었을 때아 너무 슬프고 네 실망했어요 사실 어 나를 도와주신 분들도 뭐 아무 말도 안 하고 사실 많이 실망했지만 한 3년 동안 한국어를 배웠어요. 그때는 3년 동안만 배웠는데 어, 그때는 너무 아 내가 지금까지 한국어를 너무 열심히 공부하고 정말 아, 더 이상 한국말을 이렇게 배워야 됐냐 이런 뭐 동기부여? 약간 동기부여가 없어진 것 같아요. 아 내가 한국에서 공부할 수 없으면 정말 한국말 계속 공부해야 됐냐 계기가 <웃음> 없어진 것 같아요 사실 근데 이제 생각해보니까 잘 됐어요 사실 제가 기독교니까 모든 것이 하나님 원하시는 대로 된다고 생각하니까 이제 장학금을 안 받고 인생이 내가 생각했던 것과 달, 다르게 되어가지고 음, 꽤 괜찮아요 그래도 조금 쉬고 시험시험 하면서 한국인 친구들도 생각하고 지금까지 얼마나 열심히 공부했는지 이런 생각을 좀 하고 일단 포기하지 말자 계속 하자 생각해서 그런 한국말 덕분에 많은 기회도 생겼어 친구도 많이 생겼는데 어 역시 언어를 배우면 보람이 있다고 네 생각하게 됐어요 장학금은 그냥 내 인생에서 너무 작은 어, 작은 것이니까 안 받아도 그래도 열심히 행복하게 살수 있으니까 네, 결국에는 괜찮았어요. 그래도 계속 계속 이제 10년 넘게 한국어를 배웠어요. 네. 포기하지 않아서 네, 다행이에요. 이렇게 생각해요. 오케이, okay, the next one is not beef with a language. 
it's more like I said I would never learn Spanish and then I did. I have explained this in a few videos uh, where I talk about learning Spanish but I guess just to touch on it quickly I never was interested in Spanish because I kind of thought it would be easy to learn because I've learned French. It's always available, like whenever you look for language learning resources, probably most definitely you're going to find stuff for Spanish, like it's very easily accessible and I thought, ah, oh, you know, Spanish is always going to be there. Personally, there was nothing uh, convincing me or motivating me to learn Spanish. I received quite a few comments from people saying, please, can you learn Portuguese? Or when are you going to learn Italian? Or when are, like, could you please learn this? I am not here to learn a language for your entertainment. I'm sorry if that comes across as rude, but we need to consider that language learning is a big investment. It takes hours of time and commitment. And when I make a decision to learn a language, there is generally a very big reason behind it. So for many years, I did not have a reason to learn Spanish, but um, the more I kind of got exposed to Mexican culture, music, media, the more I was like, okay, you know, I, I like this music. I think this language could be easy to start with. Yes, I know Spanish grammar is really hard and I'm still struggling with Spanish. It's so terrible. But um, my mom actually started learning Spanish and she got so excited and I was just so motivated by seeing her progress. And she started like sending messages to me in Spanish and was like, oh, this is really fun. Like this is something we can share. So I thought, let me try and learn a little bit of Spanish, maybe send my mom some memes, etc. Uh, I'm just telling you guys the honest story here of why I learned Spanish. I was actually approached by Lingoda to test out their three-month Lingoda sprint, and the languages were French, German, English, Business English, and Spanish. I was like, okay, well, I think my French is okay enough, I'm not gonna try that, I don't need English. German, eh. So the other option was Spanish, and I was like, Yes, I would like to try like a three month project and see how far I'm gonna get in language. So Spanish was the natural choice for me. And I did it and I was so surprised by how much I enjoyed it. And I never expected myself to, to get into it. So it was kind of like a happy accident. It's not that I had beef with the language, but for many years I was like, eh, you know, Spanish is not, not really something I wanna learn. And then it just happened and then I really enjoyed it, so. So that's that. Um, I wouldn't say there are any other languages that I have beef with or don't want to learn. It's more like there's no reason or motivation in my life right now. For some reason, Brazilian Portuguese people constantly, every day, ask me, when are you gonna learn Portuguese? And I don't want to say never, because that's what I said with Spanish and look what's happening now. I mean, ahora estudiando español, right? So I feel that maybe one day I might learn Brazilian Portuguese. I think it's a beautiful language and it would be so exciting to try it. And there's actually no real motivator or drive for me right now to learn Brazilian Portuguese, as an example. Yes, language learning is fun and exciting and it's something I'd love to try. Like I would love to learn all the languages in the world. But if you don't have that reason, core motivation, it's just going to be like dabbling in the language and it's gonna fall away. I don't think dabbling is a waste of time. I love getting to know languages. You know, I've dabbled in a few. Um, some people think that I claim to be fluent in all of the languages I'm interested in. That is absolutely false, misleading information. I just have a long list of languages that I am interested in. Doesn't mean I'm learning them. So there has to be that core motivation and drive for a language. If I if I don't have that, then no, I'm probably not learning the language right now. This is also a question that is asked to me quite a lot, so it's on my FAQ, and I would like to give a friendly reminder to you that I do have an FAQ on my website where most of your common language learning questions are answered, so please, please D, please do <laughs> check out the FAQ. And thank you for this really thought-provoking question. I think we underestimate how emotional language learning is, like these connections we build with languages. The fact that I got sad and like frustrated to learn Korean because of an external situation and how I completely changed my mind about learning Spanish. Like language learning is a very dear and emotional journey. And uh, yeah, thanks for, the, thanks for the question. And uh, stay tuned for my official next Q&A where I will be answering the rest of the questions. And I will see you guys in the next video. Adios! Bye bye!